Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to really dig down deeply into those English words that are spelt with a Y-I-N-G ending. So you'll be pleased to know that there are actually four ways that we can pronounce this ending depending upon the particular word. So we've got eing, eyeing, aying, and oying. <laughs> so with aying, it's after a letter A in a word, and with oying, it comes after an O. So if you spell a word A Y I N G, then it's aying, and if the word is spelt O Y I N G, it's oying. Um, that might seem a little confusing, but what we're going to do is have a slide for each of these so that you can see some example words with these pronunciations. So um, just to clarify though, the one thing that remains the same is that your ing has that short i and then the ng, which is not a hard g. So although we see the letter g, we're not saying g, this ng is kind of like a sort of blend almost between the n and a hint of g, but not an actual hard g. So it's really important that you don't say in g. We don't want a g at the end. But let's look at some examples to make this more concrete. So first of all, then we'll look at some words that have the ing ending. So repeat after me nice and loud. Bullying. Carrying. Copying. Partying. Studying. OK, so they're all examples of where this Y-I-N-G is pronounced eing. Remember, there's no hard g at the end. So another set of examples then. This time we've got the i, eyeing. So repeat after me nice and loud. Crying. Flying. Frying. Replying. Trying. So there we have it, a collection of eyeing words. And now we're on to the aing. And if you recall at the beginning, I said the aing pronunciation is there because of the presence of the letter A in front of that Y. So if you look down this list on the left, you can see that all of these words the Y-I-N-G comes after the letter A. So what we're aiming for is A-ing. So repeat after me nice and loud. Delaying. Displaying. Paying. Playing. Swaying. And last but not least, then, we've got the oying, where the Y comes after an O. So repeat after me nice and loud. Annoying. Deploying. Enjoying. Destroying. Toying. So there we have it. We've got four different ways that this Y-I-N-G ending can sound depending on the kind of word you find it in. So if you found that useful, go ahead and hit like. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the playlist for plenty of other videos where you can practice looking at these little chunks and features of English words so that you can really get to grips with some of the patterns that we can find in English pronunciation. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.